So I want to introduce you to a new ultrasound, which is all in one. It's a probe and ultrasound in one. And it it's now has a 20 megahertz probe. It wirelessly sends its images to an iPad or an Android. It can upload to the cloud for storage and for consultations. It is also waterproof. It can be used intraoperatively. It's very easy to use. It costs around $7,000 US, and there's a couple accessories you can buy. Its maximum depth is approximately two centimeters. It can also be transmitted to your iPhone. I'm now gonna do a demonstration of the new wireless 20 megahertz duplex ultrasound. And so I'm gonna start in the B mode, and this is looking at the upper lip. And you see the orbicularis oris muscle, which is the hypoechoic line on the upper aspect of the image. Now I'm changing the depth by simply sliding my hand uh, upwards or downwards to magnify it or get deeper. And now I'm moving the upper lip, showing how you can see the muscle movement. This is changing the game to show more or less contrast. Th this is over gaining and I was previously under gaining. And this is about the right gain that you want to visualize for muscles. Now I'm going to look at the color Doppler, which is looking at the vessels. And what you see is a color box. And you can change the size of the color box uh, by putting your finger on the edges. You want to have the box not too big, but not too small. And what I just did was steer the color box. And that way you can optimize the visualization of the vessels. And what you're looking at right now is the superior labial artery. And I just put the gain up too high, and that's called overgaining. And now I'm putting the gain at the appropriate mark. So all the tools are touch screen on the iPad. Now what I just did was do a video of the color Doppler, and it saves it to the computer. I just took a picture as well. And here I can freeze the image and go back to anywhere in the last six seconds and then take an image of that as well. Here I'm using the annotations and I'm labeling the orbicularis oris muscle and the superior labial artery. Then I can use the arrow function and point the label to the designated image I want. So this is a live image, but now we're going to go to a stored image. And you hit the upper left-hand corner, and that shows you the images that we already have. And here you go. Here's another image that we just took. And you can annotate that as well as measure that. And that's what I'm going to show right here. And you can store that and take a picture of that as well. And now, if you want to end the exam, you're given the options of whether you want to store it to the iPad or to the cloud or both. And you hit yes. And then it stores it to the iPad. So now if you want to see the images which were stored, you go to the photo album. And you can see they're all in your photo album on the iPad. Very high resolution images which could be transferred using AirDrop or email.